14 video tutorial series. My name is Azhar Slim. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about fixed assets. So currently, <coughs> excuse me, I'm, I'm in accounting under fixed assets, and uh, here currently we don't have any fixed asset. Let's create a uh, fixed asset. Here we have to type the fixed asset name. Let's say I'm can type here MacBook. Here we have to choose the category of the asset which we can make from here. Journal payment and uh, asset type from here at the last. If I click here, let's make it discard. Go to configuration at the end. Now first we have to create the asset type. Yeah, I'm going to create here computers and journal we have to create a journal here and uh, the journal as you know we can create from here in last video tutorial we see how to create a journal so I'm going to create here a journal Let's say computers Create and edit <coughs> type miscellaneous and a short code is uh, asset. And in advance, we already discussed what's here. So let's uh, save. We create a uh, account, a uh, journal account, and uh, put here. After that, we have to choose here a fixed asset account, depreciation account, and expense account. So, I'm going to let's see here previously if any account is created. Yes, here is a computer, hardware, and software. If I click this one, now automatically choose here also the depreciation um, asset account which is related to this. But you can see here is a both same account means when we'll purchase this uh, fixed asset this account will be debit and when we make a depreciation or when we go to for depreciate this account will be credit and same account we choose here if you want to make an other account choose here so let's see maybe here another account account related depreciation depreciation of computer hardware and software i think this one computer hardware and software this one perfect now we uh, select here our depreciation account and fixed asset account uh, here we have to choose our uh, expense account we didn't have here i think Okay, let's create one depreciation expense account computer depreciation expense create and edit code uh, let's say here I'm going to choose Five zero zero five. I don't remember what is this um, number or what is the serial here. And type it's a uh, expense depreciation. We we'll choose this one. <coughs> depreciation expense and uh, group. You can uh, make here any group. So next we have here taxes uh, by default. 5% which is here in UAE is a tags if you want to attach any tag here and the cash flow it's a depreciated yes or no and here is a cash flow it's a operation activity or financial investing here is a allowed journal we discussed already what is meaning of allowed journals Just save it 
next auto confirm asset means when this asset it confirm or it will be automatically sorry it will be confirmed on the save next group journal entries we can make uh, the entries of the depreciation by group wise here you have to choose a company after that time period based on it's a number of entries here you have to uh, make a entries how many entries let's say 90 60 50 or anyone and uh, otherwise you have to choose here ending date I will choose ending date here and ending date I'm going to choose <coughs> say 22 December 31st and one entry in every I will put here six month means the depreciation will be happen uh, occurred after six month and uh, ending date of this uh, fixed asset is uh, sorry this asset type is ending date is this one 31st of December 22 it is a two method for depreciations one is linear and second one degressive in degressive you have to put the percentage here for degressive factor but mostly only linear is used just make it save now we create our fixed asset type next we have to create a fixed asset I'm choosing here MacBook Pro say here our fixed asset category and the reference if you want put and date I'm choosing here this current date it's okay means uh, the asset will be start from this date company gross value I'm choosing gross value 15,000 and the salvage value I put here 3000 okay now our reschedule value <coughs> 12,000 mean only 12,000 will be depreciate and at the end of the day the um, netbook value or you can say the, the remaining uh, value of our fixed asset will be 3000 and here if you want to choose a vendor and advice you can choose from here Just save it now you can see here I already um, the depreciation is made accumulative this one depreciation but it's on holding because we didn't confirm it or we didn't compute our depreciation it's in draft if I make it confirm see now it's in our running <coughs> means in first of um, this uh, 12 of January this entry will be post after that 6 of sorry 1st January uh, I don't know it's uh, month wise or what yeah 12 is month then date then here we have this one I'm also confusing uh, in this date here 6 1 21 12 1 21 let's make it edit set to draft I'm uh, putting it back into draft and uh, I'm going to make it edit and uh, here I'm going to change this date but here is um, month day and year let's say I'm going to put here first of January in 2021 now let's see I'm going to make it save 
okay now it's okay the first entry will be happened in first of january after um first of july and uh, then first of january in 22 and here again in july these four will uh, entry will be uh, depreciate let's make it uh, confirm now say so confirmed and uh, if we go back in our assets you can see here our fixed asset the status is running now let's make it uh, depreciate I'm going to back uh, here generate asset entries for depreciation and here I will choose because we make the our fixed asset starting from 1st of January I'm going to make it depreciate until 30 of uh, January generate entries now the status is posted and amount 3000 total which is depreciated if I go back and check uh, assets let's uh, open this asset you can see this amount or this uh, linked is depreciate but how much 3000 and we have here reschedule is 9000 and next depreciation will be occur in this um, 1st of July 21 if I make one more depreciation let's go and make one more depreciation entry and this time I'm going to make an 31st of March I think it's not posted again we are going to make 31st of March and generate entry it's not making here we have to choose the date create asset moves we have to create here asset moves and uh, if I go miscellaneous reference and we have to choose here the account and then I have to make the move of um, the accounts means that which is debit and credit against this MacBook Pro our fixed asset so sale or dispose it's from here if I click here sale or dispose then if I just post this uh, asset will be posted as our uh, sale or in our dispose entry let's make it post now it's posted if I go back in our assets you can see here we have 3000 the depreciation is remaining and uh, we sorry we have here zero is uh, reschedule our value if I click in modify depreciation you're not allowed to access modify because no group currently allow option okay and if I click on dispose nothing has happened here no more this asset is no more available but it's still running it's still running let's make again uh, click in sale and dispose here we can see the journal entries the first one which we made 3000 and second one if this is occurred and 3000 is the remaining which is our uh, salvage value so that's for this uh, video tutorial and uh, we see how to work with the fixed assets and uh,